Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspen Tech channel and in our today's lecture we will be covering the topic of multi-stage compression and we will simulate this process in Aspen Plus. This multi-stage compression is extremely important when you are dealing with the high pressure systems or once you want your fluid which is obviously the gas vapor to compress it to the higher pressures then obviously the single stage compression is not enough to fulfill that task because of high power consumption and then you have to switch to the multi-stage compression which include two stage three stage four stage compression system again depending on the requirement so what is actually the multi-stage compression and how it works that it starts from this compressor which is k101 for example in this diagram and the feed is compressed and it is cooled down in this heat exchanger which is usually a shell and tube heat exchanger and the cooling media is the cooling water which is supplied from the cooling tower and is pumped and again it's split into three parts and this is you can see a three stage compression system this is the first stage this is the second stage and next one is the third stage so i'm just looking at the first stage now that k101 then e101 which is the heat exchanger then d101 which is the flash separator to remove any condensate produced from this process and that's how one stage is completed in multi-stage compression system. Then again the next compression, heat exchange, then flash separation and at the end, for example, if you want to remove any of the material like CO2 from air, then you can use the adsorbers in the process. So that's the generic representation of multi-stage compression system. But in S Plus, once we will be using that module of multi-stage compression, that will account for the compressor, and the heat exchanger but it will not take into account the flash separation so obviously what we need to do we need to install it separately or another way of doing it is to make flow sheet like this now we have been given that the temperature is 5 degree centigrade of the feed which needs to be compressed the pressure is 1.01325 bar the flow rate is 1000 kg mole per hour and the composition is that we have been given methane and obviously methane mole fraction or either mass fraction is one that it's a pure methane of 1000 kg mole per hour at 5 degree centigrade at 1 atm or 1.01325 bar which needs to be compressed to the 30 bar and we will be using the multi-stage compressor module in s plus so let's quickly go to s plus and simulate the process so first we need to do is to click on this new and obviously we will create a module and we will add methane over here and obviously we know the property package which we need to select is Peng Robinson. So click on next, going to here Peng Robinson, click on this run and once the results are okay, results available, then go to the simulation environment and coming to this pressure changers, we have salt pump, compressor, valve and so on. But today we are solving this M compressor, which is the multi-stage compressors, multi-stage compressor slash turbine models multi-stage polytropic or isentropic compressors icon one so click here and place it over here this one is stage one feed required one or more then from the last stage you do not have to provide any input in the stage unless it is given like you can say interstage feed if it's optional then liquid knockout and water decant free so if you want to consider liquid knockout like the flash separator you can use it or simply you can install at the end of this compression system so what we need to do we need to click here and this is our feed and this is our product in the system control a control b to adjust or align it and labeling it as feed and then c feed and b1 is the compressor in the system now we need to give the specifications of the feed and the specification is that five degree centigrade 1.01325 bar the flow rate is 1000 k mole per hour and the mole fraction is one for methane then click on this next and now this is the new module for you and now you can see there are few tabs configuration material specs cooler so we will go at one by one now we have to first input the number of stages for example we required the two number of stages and we have to define next what is the compressor model either it's isentropic isentropic using esme method or polytropic or positive displacement so by default we are using the isentropic for the system once after specifying it we have to go to the specification type and there are different options in the system number one is the fixed discharge pressure from the last stage that we want a certain amount of pressure from the last stage which is in our case is 30 bar 
then fix the charge conditions from each stage it means that we will fix the condition at the end of the first stage and then at the end of the second stage and last one is to use the performance curve so we will use this one fixed discharge pressure from last stage and that is 30 bar and then there are two options equal pressure ratio and equal head usually we select equal pressure ratio which means that if there is a compression ratio of 2 in the first stage that in the second one it is also 2 but again what does that 2 means that if the inlet is 1 bar the outlet from the first stage will be 2 bar but once that 2 bar go into the second stage then the outlet will be 4 so 4 divided by 2 means outlet divided by inlet it's a pressure ratio it's a compression ratio so again that is equal for each stage and usually that is how we proceed in the system so after giving the number of stages the compressor model and the specification type the configuration is okay and the material is obviously okay because you have given that the feed is entering at stage 1 compressed feed or the product is coming out from stage 2 in specs you can obviously give spec but that is not necessary in cooler you have to specify obviously cooler over here that it is in the first stage that represents the intercooler not the after cooler which is installed at the outlet of the second compressor then what is the specification outlet temperature duty or temperature ratio so that corresponds to the methane which is used in the system or in some cases it could be air or other media and the values which is outlet temperature duty temperature ratio that corresponds to the temperature of the feed which is introducing in the system which is in case methane not to the cooling water so outlet temperature for example the outlet temperature is 30 degrees centigrade so once after giving these specifications the run button is active the required inputs are complete you need to simply click on this run and you will get your results and you can see the results are now available so going to this stream results first and you can see that the inlet is 5 degree centigrade 1.01325 bar outlet is 30 degree centigrade and this is same 30 degree centigrade which we have inserted in setup in cooler over here that the value is 30 degree centigrade of outlet temperature and as i said that this value corresponds to the outlet temperature of methane or any other media which will be using in the multi-stage compression system similarly if there are more number of stages then what you need to do for example there are three number of stages then you will click three over here and again equal pressure ratio then going to this material now you have to obviously say that this is not the two now this is three so there are three stages and the product is from the last stage and the rest will remain the same if for example the outer temperature is same it will be okay then click on this run again and you can see the results are now again available and again going to the stream results obviously there is no change in these results because the outlet because we are interested in the outlet and that is the same in both cases now going to this compression results you can see that the outlet pressure is 30 bar total work for all three compressors in the system is 3617 kilowatt total cooling duty for the all the coolers installed two intercoolers and one after cooler because we are considering three stage is 3513.14 kilowatt network and again net cooling duty will remain the same because we are not assuming any heat leak in the system for the process or any pressure drop then going to this profile now you can see that in stage one once after compression it is 116.269 and the pressure is 3.13462 with a pressure ratio of 3.09363 and you can see this pressure ratio is constant across all these three stages and accordingly you can see 1148.23 kilowatt power for this one 1242.1 kilowatt power for this one and 1227.07 so if you sum up all these three then it will be equal to this 3617.39 kilowatt for the compressors in the system then head developed volumetric f flow and the by default efficiency of 72 percent is used even if you want to give the value of efficiency you can also give it over here as well then accordingly in coolers you can see the heat duties are given over here for each compression stage for this stage 911 for this stage and for this stage accordingly the heat duties are also calculated in the system so you can see a very very detailed analysis is given in this process now the last thing is that if you want to give the compression efficiency then you can specify over here like if, for example if it is 0.6 then you again click on this run and again going back to these results in coolers you can see there will be differently some changes over here earlier it was around 900 now it is 1141 then in profile you can see 0.6 and accordingly you can see the results are now changed and changed obviously there is a significant difference because of the lower efficiency so you can check the analysis by 
varying the efficiencies by varying the number of stages and obviously you can even optimize your system for the multi-stage compression system if you are given that how many compression stages to be chosen for the system and again the number of stages are obviously limited by the compression ratio usually the compression ratio exists between 2.5 to 3 so obviously you cannot go below 2.5 and you cannot go above 3 in the process so that's the overall representation of the multi-stage compression system and that's how you simulate the multi-stage compression system in s plus so that's it from this lecture thank you so much please do watch like share the video and subscribe to the channel also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel till then it's goodbye stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel